This is a general community tour to show you in a quick review all the features and functions of the community. If you're logging in here as a new user, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner an icon for people to join and or sign in. That will navigate into the setup of your initial account. Now at the bottom, you can select create an account. Make sure that if you already have an account, try to use that account again. This entire environment was reprofiled in 2020. If you've got an account that you've used in community pages before, try to reactivate that first. If you're having trouble even finding those credentials or even reactivating that account, go ahead and create a new account. If you have any issues, we have an email at community at microfocus.com that will allow you to contact the administrators of the site and get your account reset. Now to go over a few features. First, in the upper menu, you'll find a series of options, including the global search option. Simply type in the keyword that you are looking for and a list of results will come up. You'll see different product areas where your search is located. The community guide is the heart of the how-to information in the community. You'll find that you can start conversations from here, provide feedback, get community news, and get all these tips via the community getting started handbook. To go back to the home page, simply click on the word community in the banner. Or you can click on the three lines in the upper right corner to explore product families and products available. Click on the product name and it will take you into that area of the community where you'll find discussions, tips, ideas, and blogs. Now to show you a couple of things that are in a product group. You have the home page of the product. It's a mix of discussions that are going on, ideas that are submitted for the product, and then also tips for using that product. On the right hand side, you also have helpful links for the family of products. Next, the discussions group. It is a collaborative environment. The Ask button will allow you to pose questions to employee and community experts. The Idea Exchange is next. The Idea Exchange is where you can submit concepts that can enhance the product for everyone. The guidelines can be found on the right-hand side. There's voting that happens on ideas so everyone has a voice. It is information that's coming from customers and making its way through the exchange and into the products and to the R&D teams. And finally, the tips and information. Here you can read posts by product experts, including tutorials, bug fixes, events, and more. Next, the blogs option. There's a series of blogs in different areas by product category. This is a great resource for upcoming releases, announcements, and major events. Next is the Messages option. You can use this from a community standpoint to direct message someone in the community and also to receive messages in the community. Then we have the Bookmarks. Here you can bookmark pages, applications, groups of users, and individuals. You can also follow users by going to their profile, clicking the connect button, and then follow, which is similar to bookmarking. You can also select your own profile and change your profile settings. Things you'll see in there are how you are handling notifications. You can select and modify the picture that's displayed. You can modify descriptions on your profile. And you can select your time zone. Thank you for watching, and welcome to the community.